Hello, St. Mary Magdalene. Thanks for tuning in to another weekly video with me, Father Chris. Uh, this weekend, we celebrate so beautifully the Feast of the Baptism of the Lord. We know from Scripture that Jesus was baptized by John in the Jordan River, and that that began his public ministry, the work where he would go out and begin drawing the apostles to himself, performing miracles, then eventually culminating in his passion, death, resurrection, and ascension, and then the great of event of Pentecost as well, where the church would then begin her missionary spirit. So it's beautiful, and the church provides us some beautiful feast days, Christmas, Epiphany, and the baptism of the Lord as a way of really in these three weeks, really celebrating the beautiful ways in which the Lord makes himself powerfully known and manifesting who he is and what he came to do for us in these three weeks. So beautiful celebration this weekend. The baptism of the Lord is a very powerful event. Uh, and so I pray that this is a truly a, a beautiful celebration for each of us and a chance for us to renew the divine life that was bestowed on us by our own baptism. Christ in that baptism by John sanctifies the waters of baptism through which all of us have been baptized. All of us have been grafted onto the mystical body of Christ and adopted by our Heavenly Father as his sons and as his daughters. And so it's a chance to renew our baptismal identity, our baptismal relationship given to us uh, in that beautiful sacrament, the beautiful cleansing that the Lord offers us with water. Also, in this video, I'm pleased to announce that on February 11th, we will be hosting Patrick Madrid, who will be giving us a Lenten mission kind of talk. I know it's before Lent, but... We'll be doing construction during Lent, so we're going to have Patrick Madrid come on February 11th. It's a Friday night, and it's from 7 to 9 p.m., and he'll be coming to speak about Mary at the foot of the cross and how Mary can help us walk with the Lord and draw us closer to Jesus. So it's going to be exciting. It's going to be a beautiful event, so go ahead and mark your calendars. I'm very excited to host Patrick and to have him at St. Mary Magdalene. Again, that's February 11th. From 7 to 9 p.m. You should see information in the flock notes and in upcoming uh, bulletins and signs around campus. So if you need the dates and times, feel free to go ahead and take a look at those as well. But we're very excited to host Patrick Madrid. Let's go ahead now and pray uh, together and ask the Lord definitely to renew the graces of our own baptism. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father, we thank you for this beautiful Christmas season, for these beautiful feasts in the life of Christ, and the chance for us to reflect on the way that you manifest yourself and make yourself known to us and present in our life. We thank you for the gift of our own baptism, the gift of that divine life, that cleansing of sin that you bestow upon us. Give us the grace, by virtue of our baptism, to recall our identity rooted in you, that we are your sons, your daughters, beautiful, precious, and cherished in your eyes, and that that may be the, the lens through which we view all things, that we choose those things that lead us closer to you and reject those things that lead us away from you. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. God bless, and thanks for tuning in.